Alola, or rather, hey, because I'm not in Hawaii, nor am I in the Alola region now. Uh, as a disclaimer, I'm not going to discuss whether I think the Diamond and Pearl remakes are going to come out on the Switch or the 3DS. I am not going to get into any of that, though I will say that we're not guaranteed to get Diamond and Pearl remakes during this generation simply because we should have got Hoenn remakes during the fifth generation. It was two generations later. However, we didn't get them until generation six, three generations later. So Diamond and Pearl are still very relevant in that we can still play them and communicate those games into a newer area. So who's to say if we will even see the Diamond and Pearl remakes during the Pokemon Sun and Moon era? That being said, so let's talk about first the starters. Well, I'm not going to get into whether they should get Mega Evolutions, and Mega Evolution isn't the thing this generation, though that would be cool if they did. However, with Empoleon being a pretty good Pokemon to use, same with uh, Infernape being top tier Pokemon worthy, and I do believe in the overused category those two are, uh, poor Torterra falls short. I don't think many people use it. I personally started with Turtwig. But, uh, so the starter, I think the starter Z moves, if Tortarium Z, for example, maybe it could be activated via Wood Hammer or Earthquake, because it doesn't have the go by the primary type, as we saw with the Alolan starters. With Empoleum Z, we got a few options, though. Uh, Drill Peck, because it's most commonly known for doing that drilling technique. Um, Metal Claw, because it's probably, why not? and Aqua Jet, which seems to be a move that is associated with it, uh, just from the anime, and, you know, it's a priority move, so that's, you know, a pretty cool thing to go with. Um, for Infernium Z, or Infernium Z, probably, um, or they might, even, might not even go with Z, though. Z comes from the Japanese word, which was, like, togetherness or something. You can go with Mock Punch or Close Combat, or even Fire Punch. I think those would be good trigger moves for their unique Z moves. But as of right now, those Pokemon don't have moves unique onto themselves, so it's hard to say if, you know, they would even have anything. Now, uh, next would be a new Rotom form. I, I don't think Rotom really needs a new form, but I do think there was something about the scientists that were in Team Galactic, or, yeah, Team Galactic, and one of them had a Rotom when he was very young, and all around the city that they were in, uh, the fighting type gym city, I believe. Canale? No. I can't really remember the names of the towns. Oh well. Maybe in another video. Uh, but they were saying like Rotom would go into a toy robot and they would play together. So I always really wanted that toy robot form for Rotom. And maybe its signature move could be Flash Cannon since they don't get their own unique moves. They just get a really strong move to match their new type. I think it could be Electric Steel. Uh, I think it'd be a good pick. I don't know about abilities and all that, but I think it'd be pretty good. Um, the Adamant and Lustrous Orbs could probably unlock Z-Moves for Dialga and Palkia, but the Grissius Orb probably shouldn't have this effect because it changes the form of Giratina. So I think that one being excluded, but then again, who knows? Maybe all three should have them. You tell me in the comments below. But I do think the Adamant and Lustrous Orbs having the ability to unlock uh, Z-Moves for um, Roar of Time and Spatial Rend would be pretty cool. Um, so, in the Sinnoh region, you actually had to do some escort missions. You had to be, es like, you would escort a character, and after each battle, you would be instantly healed. I think they should have more of those, but have those characters reappear in places other than just the battle towers or battle frontiers or things like that. I think them reappearing more and more and being more allies against Team Galactic, just because, you know, they came running to help their friend. Because we saw that in Unova with the gym leaders actually helping out. Usually the gym leaders didn't get involved. So I think that would be a nice touch. Same thing with the gym leaders too. If the gym leaders came running to help you when Team Galactic was making its big, you know, run for it, um, I think that'd be great. Because Cynthia did step in, I think, in Platinum version. But still, I would like to see more reoccurring characters just because it makes, you know, the game a little more, you know, story-ish. Because getting more into the story is something I think Pokemon needs to do. Um, perhaps the gold, silver, and crystal character cameos, especially Crystal, the original female character appearing within the game. Because I remember they showed her in the anime 
as being, you know, the one who created Pokemon contests. And I do remember with Dawn, you know, her deciding to be a Pokemon coordinator, they showed Marina, who is also known as Chris, the female from Pokemon Crystal, in the video with her Feraligator and her Jigglypuff. So I think that would be a welcome pick. Um, also, version exclusive events in the story because it features two different Pokemon and they don't play the same role. Um, so like if you were playing Diamond, I like to see time distortions like towns reverting back to, you know, what they were in the past. Or trees that were dead coming back to life or vice versa. Um, things like that. And in Pearl, you know, landmass is being moved around. Like, you know, maybe like some of the snowy forest from Snow Point City can be moved to the southern end of the map or just anywhere like that. Or islands appearing in the sky, you know, things that don't make sense. That would be something. And then Arceus appearing to, you know, destroy Team Galactic and then sets everything right that went wrong during, you know, uh, Dialga and Palkia being messed up. And then if Giratina had a Delta episode type thing, like, you know, and it could kind of tie in with Sun and Moon with the ultra wormholes, I think that'd be a really great way to tie the games together. I do think that a Giratina backstory and going into distortion role, like world would be something a lot of players would like. Uh, and then the Sinnoh Underground, and eh, well, I don't know about this. I mean, it was a nice way to find, like, fossils and everything. But we have the Pokepelago now. And while you don't get fossils from there, it is a great way to get all the evolution students and everything. So, that's just my two cents. While I do feel that, you know, it was a nice thing in the game and it did have secret bases, I would rather see it as more of an online function or maybe even some way to travel the map much quicker. Because the Sinnoh Underground was divided in like two or three sections and it was just really nerve wracking when I couldn't get from one area to the other without, you know. I just liked it because I liked that it was underground tunnels. Uh, then maybe Z moves for the starters from Johto. Uh, just maybe. Uh, so with Meganium Z, right? Uh, hmm. Yeah, with Meganium Z. I'm looking at my notes and I can't remember what I put, but now I'm remembering. Perhaps a Razor Leaf or Petal Dance could trigger it, because Meganium, as well as all three of the stars, are pure typed. Uh, for Typhlosion you know, Z, Flay Wheel or Eruption could activate, you know, the Z move. Eruption would be a good choice since Typhlosion is the Volcano Pokemon. Now, Feralium Z would be really cool, I think, because Feraligator is like has options because he's kind of more about his teeth but then again like his whole body is kind of a weapon in a way like because it's an alligator so maybe crunch could activate his e-move or even ice fang and then aqua tail would be a good choice just to keep it the same type but then what if they were mega evolutions i think you know mega meganium would have which is weird to say could be fairy type because it does talk about how Meganium's voice in the Poke uh, in the Pokedex, Meganium's breath can revive uh, dead plants, and I and a lot of things. And fairy is more about soothing and you know being natural, so I think that would be good. Uh, with Ty Mega Typhlosion, Ground or Rock because it's Volcano Pokemon. But then again, they could go Steel as well because Molten Metal. Uh, finally, Feralium Z, it could be a fighting or dark type, I think, just because that would really entail the ferocity of what, you know, the Omega Feraligator would be. Um, but that's all I have for this. If you have any ideas for things that you would like to see in the Diamond and Pearl remakes, do let me know. Uh, things that were available during Diamond and Pearl that we wouldn't see remade would be, like, my Pokemon Ranch, because now we have Pokebank, they're the same thing, really. Um, we wouldn't really see any getting messages on our Wii U or our Nintendo Switch because everything's online. Because with Diamond and Pearl, or maybe it was just Platinum, you can get a notification on your Wii that your traded Pokemon, like on the GTS, has been traded. I don't think we would get that now. Though I would like to see that feature be sent to my mobile device, you know, 
in some way, shape, or form, because I think that would be more, you know, incorporated and better. Though, if it was on the Switch, I would like to be notified through the Switch notifications, because, you know, when you get a spot pass, you could be notified that way, other than just having to check back every so often. So if you have any ideas for what could be in the Diamond and Pearl remakes, let me know. Hit the links below to follow me on social media and support my Patreon page. And do give this video a like and do subscribe. Check out my other videos.